Alright, and here we have Biohazard uh, Beta Number 2. Uh, this came out two months after uh, the last beta. And they actually allow you to select Jill Valentine. You can select Chris or Jill. And since I played as Chris in the first beta, I will select Jill for this beta. <coughs> and uh, they haven't got a opening cutscene ready for it yet evidently just takes you right to the uh, mansion and they ain't get voice acting yet either this is just their basic idea of how they wanted it to go and pretty much the same thing here she's like Captain Wesker where's Chris and he's like stop it don't open that door how about Chris's get ready man that sounds like a big ass gun dude like that's no little Beretta someone's firing off some serious firepower over there <clears throat> it's like I'm going with you Chris is our old partner you know it's like okay let me handle this he's like stay alert only he don't say it but anyways this beta they polished a few things up they got a few things uh fixed up for it um, you know how they button, uh, you just hold in the button to run, rather than having to double tap up. The dining room. <laughs> and apparently the dining room is like through Japanese characteristics. So anyways, <clears throat> now I want to point something out here. Uh, you see how Jill, you can equip anything. Jill has six slots. While we quickly we load state, Chris has eight slots. Okay, so apparently uh, at first deal, Jill was gonna be the hard mode and have six slots. Chris was gonna be the easy mode and have eight. But somewhere around the the deal, they mixed it up. So, there's actually different animations for when you're attacking. You slash upward, you just slash, and you can kind of stab downwards. Pretty interesting. Uh, you don't have infinite health on this one, but you do have infinite ammo. Uh, anyways, uh, the same basic uh, idea for the dining room thus far. Uh, they still haven't added a clock. Um... And they have these like built-in shelves kind of deal going on there. <coughs> what is this blood? Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. So, um, as you can see, tell they they finally got the emblem idea. They like the emblem idea. Um. See, I can unload ammo, and as you can tell, I'm losing ammo, but all I have to do is double tap triangle, you'll hear that sound, that clicking sound, it replenishes ammo. Um, so, yeah. Uh, can't talk to him again, so that's, that's whatever, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> we're going to go in here, and, uh, yeah, um, actually, we are going to allow the zombie to kill me, <clears throat> just to see what if, if they did anything with the death animations of any of these enemies, um, Unfortunately, I don't think there was any dogs. Can't test that. But come on, bro, kill me. <coughs> oh, she just dropped. She dropped, bro. And she just lays there. Nothing too spiffy. Uh, I noticed that you died is not like smeared in blood. Kind of a damn shame.
Alright, so anyways, um, we're gonna go up here, um, they fix this door so it actually looks like this, when it, and it don't look blue before you open it. Uh, again, uh, nothing's changed about this yet, still got the bluish looking table, still got the shelves you can't move. I can't remember if the enemies respawn on this one. The enemies respawn on the first beta. Um, they do indeed spawn. Alright. Anyways, uh, both the other doors in this room are in fact locked. So anyways, we come back in here, and there's no scene for Barry. Barry apparently investigated and left me here high and dry, uh, like an asshole. And so we're going to go back to the dining room. The dining room. But anyways, um, we can go upstairs, which actually we're going to go upstairs first, um, apparently they started the animation of going up the stairs, but then cuts to a black screen and doesn't even do, like, the, oops, that was an accident, it doesn't even do the, well, boom, boom, like, going down the stairs animation, like, without, you know, you know just showing the stairs and shit, but, now eh, what are you gonna do? Uh, so... Yeah, black screen's lame. Okay, so we're gonna go up the stairs here. We're gonna start by going on this side. Uh, this side is pretty good. <laughs> and we have a couple of zombies. Able to... Able to fuck them zombies up. Again, blowing his arm off. Like a boss. Unfortunately, the door over there is, in fact, locked. Now, if you hold in triangle, which is the run button, you can quickly spin around. Which can be helpful. They didn't really incorporate that into the other, uh, in the actual games. Kinda strange, but hey, they're like, yeah, you don't need any more help. They're like, fuck you. So we're gonna go over here. That door's locked, but we can go see Forest. Forest is indeed still there. <clears throat> and nothing too much changed about this room. Still got the blood. Still got the creepy music. They have a few different tunes in this beta. And the crows don't care if you search Forest's corpse here. See, and there's Forest. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. It's forest. Oh my god. You know. So. <laughs> there's some crows there. I don't give a fuck. Um, and. We really only have a couple more rooms left. Uh, there's only one extra room from the other beta. But. My favorite part is where you meet the snake. Yawn. I mean you meet him where you get the crank. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but we'll get there soon enough. <clears throat> Sean! I'm on ya. So we're gonna go in here. Um, basic. Same room. Uh, like outline. The thing is, see, so check it out, there's a Colt Python in here. We're gonna equip that baby right fucking here now. Anyways, you hear the zombie sound. I mean, there should be a zombie here. And he's here? Like, what the hell? He's not, yeah, he should have been there when I walked in. Anyway, and the, the, the sound of zombies walking are still in that room, so it's just a bit of a bug they had in the beta so far. Uh, here we have this poor bastard. 
taking two python shots like a boss, dude. And we're allowed to go in this room now. And this is just basically a closet uh, of sorts. This is where you go to change your costume if you get the special key from beating the game and saving both of your comrades in arms. You can't change a damn thing right now. <clears throat> and this guy's back. The concept of respawning enemies is interesting, but not very really realistic. If anything, they could add, they should add more enemies, but not make them respawn. Making them respawn certainly uses up a bit of the uh, ammo, but <laughs> whatever, right? So we're gonna go in here, and it's still um visually different it's got pillars still it has the white marble floor still um, no map in the statue no stairs to push around no shelf over here to push around and as you can tell in this version of the beta there's just no dead Kenneth no dead Kenneth over in the tea room no dead Kenneth over here it's like what's going on with dead Kenneth bro Uh, actually, I'm gonna... I wanna respawn him real quick. <clears throat> I wanna knife him. I think he'd be pretty pro. Since the knife has cool new animations that they didn't implement in the game. Why not, right? And take a look at the menu screen here. Um, might different from, uh, from the game itself. Um, you can tell that the health doesn't say fine, it'll just go down by colors. Uh, I, I learned that when I checked out the, the, the beta a little bit last night when I first downloaded it. But yeah, uh, it just, it just changes colors, no big, no big, uh, not telling you fine caution. Oh! Oh! You see that shit? What the hell, bro? I'll be back. I'm killing this bastard with a knife if my life depends on it. <clears throat> so, we're gonna get revenge on this zombie. On this zombie, as it were. Alright, so... You fucking asshole. You think you're something, don't you? You fucking dickhead! What the hell, bro? Still in green. Dude! What is this, Super Zombie? It's Super Zombie! Bullshit. <clears throat> God damn it. I'm trying to show you the fucking beta and I can't kill this fucking cocksucker. Alright, so we're gonna try this one more time. Take a step forward. What the hell, bro? I just wanted to shank him. See, now I'm in yellow. What an asshole. Dick. Okay, fine. Whatever. You don't get to see me kill that zombie with the knife. We're going to continue on. Um, here's the room. It has no dogs no jumping through the windows. It does, however, have a spider. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm in orange now, dude. That's bad news. Oh, yeah. I was going to let the uh, each enemy kill me, huh? Forgot about that. Throw up a save state right there. <coughs> See what the spider does when he kills me. Hey, bro. Okay. Mine red? Nope, still orange. 
Now red? Come on, bro! Ow. Is that all you got? Ooh, there's some spit. There's the red. Come on, bro. Oh! Hit me with that poison! <laughs> Again, you died. Yeah. Nothing too special. Alright, so you can go in here now. And it is basically the same, uh same deal as the game but there's no dogs once again there's a zombie oh and you can only blow off their heads from from short range with the python as you can tell right here knocked his ass down so yeah uh so that's that's pretty interesting Go in here. The doors like that are a bit lighter in color, as it were. We're gonna check the all uh, the shitter here. Uh, once again, identical. No, 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 no differences whatsoever, really. <coughs> and uh, so we're gonna try to grab the shotgun. I'm pretty sure I can get Barry to save me. So we're gonna go in here and see what happens. Should uh should have it done. There's that glitch again. And that glitch didn't happen on the video that I seen, so apparently that's just in my settings of the emulator or something. Whatever though. I ain't even mad, bro. Here we have the shotgun. Oh shit. Am I right? <coughs> And so here we go, the uh, door, doors are locked. Listen to my shooting, Barry! 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 There he is. <laughs> now, I should also point out the fact that in the beta here, um... Barry will also kick the door down to save Chris. So, apparently, you know, there was some Barry action in Chris's game as well. Originally. So I'm out of that room, man. Barry being the lifesaver, how about that? Thank you, bro. Say, thanks, Barry. He's like, you were almost a Jill sandwich. She's like, weren't you going back to the dining room to do some research? He's like, uh... Uh... Yeah. But now, let, let's, let's continue our search for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? And he's talking some more shit. And he's gonna walk away. She's like, thanks, Barry! He's like, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Barry. So, anyways, we're gonna go in here, and uh, as opposed to the normal game, it is still quite well lit up. Still standing. Not standing after that. Uh, again, both these doors are in fact locked, which is a shame. And I just want to point this out one more time, just in case you only watch this beta and not the other one. You know, I recorded two. <clears throat> um, you know, we have a diff bunch of different pictures. I'm not quite sure what this puzzle was going to be. But, it's not the baby to infant to boy to young man to middle-aged man to fucking... Oh! Gotta die to a crow. <laughs> Come on, crows. Oh, 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 ooh, ow, ooh, ow. 
No. No. Oh my god. Still an orange. Come on, assholes. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. She's in red. Come on, bitches. Oh, I took one out. <laughs> I'm not going down without a fight, bitch. Oh, yeah, how you like that? Who else wants some of this? You want some of this? Oh. Oh. Oh, probably one more peck ought to do it. Oh, come on, dude. You guys suck. No! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! It was like, ah! Ah! Okay, nothing fancy there either. I wasn't sure if they had any fancy scenes or not. Whoa! Off my ass, bitch! Whew! And so, once again, we only have the finale hallway and, uh, said door. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> and based from the beta, I know I don't know if they really worked out all the damage uh, deals or not, but she seems to be quite resilient. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let the uh, hunter kill me now. We are in red. Come on, bitch. Missed me, bro. Oh, rip the head off! Like a boss. And my head's just floating there. Why is my head just floating there? That's kind of strange. Ow. And the final room here. You go in it. Where's the and as you can tell, the snake is once again here. And, ooh, to be continued, but you know she's about to get pwned. You know she's about to get pwned. And so that brings beta number two to a close. So see, see you later, people.